All right. None is Nordic. Ooh. I assume none is leaving the stream. All right. Let's see what we're up against. Saxony Agricultural. Ouch. Claudium Militant. Nordic Mechanical. And Rusty Patriotic again. Didn't you just get Rusty Patriotic? Huh. Okay, who's going first? Let's check out the tier list real quick. Saxony Agricultural is a D. Polonia Militant's a B. Next version of the tier list may upgrade Polonia Militant to an A. Rusty Patriotic's an S. Nordic Mechanical is a B. We got a shot here. We can all this game out. <laughs> Mechanical's not that bad. None. What do you talk? Oh, we go first. Okay, we've been sitting on this for 30 seconds. Um, let's try. Try moving. I've been thinking about Polonia Militant a little bit. And I'm wondering if it's worth it with them to get to the factory a little bit slower to get an early enlist, early deploy enlist. That's what I'm going to try. Rusty does the upgrade, the uh, produce. Rusty is going to do what he did last time. It was a good strategy. We're going to have to try to stall Rusfiat, which will be tough. saxony has got a really hard job, though. Going to move two workers to the Tundra to start off. Okay. Go ahead and produce. Get a food. Uh, produce out of Nordic. Getting on that village away from Rusviet and starting to get metal for his mechs. Sorry about that. Produce number two for Rusviet. Gonna see a produce out of Saxony and get some oil for the upgrade, right? Okay. Hmm. Actually, gonna take coin right here. No, I'm, yeah, I am. I'm gonna take coin. Yes. If you get it early, the answer is yes. If you've got, at least if the factions next to you are going to actually make max do set of rusfia games lagging a little bit yeah i was getting the um coin off of the Off of the enlist, so I probably didn't have to do that, but but I did. So upgrade and two resources is really good for Sax in this instance. 
You get two upgrades this turn. He's not on metal, so that would allow him to trade for his mechs, which would be really good. And go ahead and get two metal for the mechs. So he could trade for something else if he wanted to. Could do one upgrade on the mech, and one on the enlist. See what he does. Oh, he took the two coin, two power, and two combat cards. I mean, it's, it's not a terrible pick. Go ahead and go to the encounter and hope for the best. Hmm. Okay, so next turn we bolster into an upgrade that gives us three power. Turn around and upgrade our deploy. And our move. It's gonna allow us to trade for the mechs, save us some turns. I think the encounter works out, yeah, climb. A little bit more power with this militant map, which you don't often have. Um, yeah, this is the right call here. We have four mechs to make. Upgrading some power. Look at us with six power on the militant board. It's crazy. Craziness. Ooh, Rusty, it's going, uh, going the other eight worker strat. This time, switching it up a little bit. Saxony Agricultural has a tough row oh, here, no doubt. This is kind of slow, but coin is going to be good here in a minute.
That's true. I used to have those on. Felt like they took extra computer resources. Of course, maybe that's not a problem anymore. Encounter time. Oh man, that's an amazing encounter for Russ. Take the metal. Yep. Free Mac. Well, two dollars for the Mac. And we don't need to move. We're going to gain. And we get five coin like that. I mean, it would be probably be better for the viewer too, but no pressure. All right, man, for you, for you, there it is. Get that board game feel there. Should go buy a lotto. <laughs> Just because Scythe RNG is broken doesn't mean real life RNG is. Saxony here going to make enlists, looks like. I bet they upgrade the enlist this turn. If five more co more coins next turn. We can get our objective too. We see Nordic spreading out, locking Russ via right there. Probably just messing with Russ via its mobility. They get an upgrade for $2. It on the metal. It's a nice find there. <laughs> I do own the board game. So get this. I own the board game. The board expansion. I bought plastic encounter tokens, 3D printed encounter tokens off of Etsy, as well as trap tokens and lag tokens because I have IFA um, I have a 3d printed factory and for Christmas from my extended family I got metal mechs so realistic resources metal coins and I think that's it but I never get to play because, you know, coronavirus. So whose encounter are we looking at? Rusviets. He's going to take his mech and speed the game up even more. Doesn't have any enlists yet, though. It's 
expensive. An expensive Mac. Still recipe its turn. You know, it was just, I, I wanted to collect some pieces for it. You ask family for something for Christmas, and I mean, it, I didn't want anything else. So, why not? That's one cool thing about not wanting stuff is you can get cool stuff sometimes. Yeah. I think Russ just forgot to hit in turn. There we go. Saxony now. Mm, my bad. Okay. Thirteen coin now. Actually in the lead. I gotta go off mic for a second, guys. All right, guys, I'm back on the mic. Must be starting to get in lists, it looks like. It'd be nice if Sax would build some mechs, right? And he's on metal. Looks like he's going to build a mech this turn. Yeah, OK, there's some coin. Okay, we got two max. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna trade for two metal. Then instead of moving to the factory, we're gonna produce. Then I'm gonna move to the factory and move one worker to the food over here. So that when I produce to uh, eight workers, I'll get two food and can turn around. No, oh, upgrade's not on this, so that doesn't quite work. But I'll get more food out of it at least. I was thinking I could trade for trade for food and a metal. I'm not gonna quite cut it though, is it? Rusty going to the factory. I think he has like technological advantage or something. 
Does he just want to keep me off the factory? Now he doesn't want to keep me off the factory because he would have. Would have brought more units. Saxony going for this encounter. It's a nice encounter over there, but it makes it really hard to get your character to the factory if you take that encounter. Wait, no, that will work, because if we produce this turn, we get a food. We move next turn, move a worker here, move one unit, the factory. Russ, there's a good chance Russ moves off anyway. Build our mech. Produce again will take us to three food. We trade for two food, or we trade for two metal. Enlist, and move and get our fourth mech. popularity to build a structure now that's interesting why would Saxony want a single a single structure up there is he gonna upgrade his building eight power now and let's turn in our objective why not We're only one point behind Rusviet, and Rusviet's on the equivalent of six territories. He's about to not be. Nordic attacking Rusviet. I bet this is a bluff. I'd like it to be a bluff. I'd like to turn around and attack a low powered Nordic. Yeah, mostly a bluff. Doesn't really decrease Nordic's power all that much. Oh, and he got the Enlist Factory card. That's gold for him right now. Oh, wow. Nordic probably ahead now. Yep, up by 10 with that spread. And What are his stars? Objective, Combat, Worker. You can get the Enlist star and another Combat. Does have to use that Factory card... Three more times though. That's what, three turns to use the factory card, four turns to build the max. Or two turns, to, yeah, four turns. To, three factory cards, gets to five with the max. Combat. Six turns, turn 17.
We have an upgraded move. I forgot about that. We can do this, this, and this. doesn't want to doesn't want to try to call a bluff there See what we can get on this factory and if it will speed our game up at all mm. not really we'll take this let's get the last combat we'll probably use it once Put us in the lead, and it does, but only just barely over Nordic spread. Nordic wants to come back and fight us and knock us off the factory. They can. Not going to just yet. Uh, they could have used the factory card. So let's see, we need... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus four. We need four more resources to finish our enlist and our max. Awkward. Awkward resource, we're short. Trust me, it may be. Hmm. Setting up a three farms objective? Uh, favorite factory card? I think the best one is the one that none has right here. Two coins for an enlist and a power. Either that or the popularity for enlist one. My favorite one, the one I like the most, is the combat card for three resources. That one's fun. You just run your engine off of it. It's a little bit slower than the enlist factory cards for rushing the game, but it is, it is a fun factory card. Nordic has artillery. Everybody's power look like Saxony's the lowest. Can't really hit them though. Let's so we'll do what we were gonna do.
We are ahead, but our lead is precarious. Nordic attacks us this turn, right? Yep. Oh, you took away our power. Just like that, we are no longer ahead. But we have a resource that we can use our factory card with. It will give us two power. But we can't really attack Nordic with it because they'd spend one power to get rid of that two power. What about Rusfiat? Six. Nordic has two more factory card uses. They have both their combats and a mech create. That's three turns. We have good coin, but I don't know if it's enough to stall out this game. We're going to get two metal and an enlist this turn. Hmm. Up to twenty coins, yeah. There's a good card, like that. Oh, I thought he'd go for the enlist this turn. He could end it though if he uses the um, enlist factory card this next time and gets an enlist off the yeah. So we're down by eight. I'm going to pick up two, three, four territories, and a star next turn. And a bunch of coin. So we'll make a nice little... Make a nice little play. I'm not sure what Rusfeed's doing this game. It's developed more slowly than the last game he played. He killed it last game on Russ Pat. Yeah, uh, I'm going to take this encounter the Nordic has. I'm going to bump this worker, so I'm going to spread out into these two territories with this mech. I'm going to move the character here, 
and I'm going to move this mech up here. So I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four territories. I'm going to take two territories away from Nordic. That's 12 points. And then I'm going to get four coins from the, the mech. Lose one for putting the metal in. That's 15 points. And then one for the star, which is 18 points vis-a-vis -vis Nordic. The factory card from here to here to here to here, here to here to here. Nordic will lose the metal, but he doesn't need the metal anymore. Oh, can we retrust? Cannot retrust. Too bad. We get really lucky, we'll get an encounter or an uh, enlist off of this encounter. Hmm. It's actually moving to the farm, getting out on the board. Got a lot of upgrades this game. Okay. Let's try to take Nordic down a peg. Come on, give us an enlist. And we don't want to pay for that food. We don't need that food. Let's put the, the mech right there. Now we're up. Mm. Now we hope no one takes our food. It's a good chance Nordic does, I think. Unless he's ending. No, he's got, got to do something else but use that factory card and then use the factory card. I think we've got to go for the enlist. I think we can beat Nordic here. I think we can. He and I can both end in two turns. And 
Turns are going to get here quicker. Nordic didn't take my food, so I feel like I have to go ahead and go for it. Go for the enlist. And I get power. I get power off the enlist. Which is great. Five stars. Nordic have food that I forgot about? Not on food. Can't produce food. So we'd have to produce into enlist. We'd have to use his factory card. But he's not on food. Yeah, cause the board board makes tons of coin. No doubt about that. Oh no! Territory I lost. Nordic's got tons of power. Everybody else has three or less. Oh no again! He's just gonna take my whole peninsula. Not sure it's enough though. He's got one more move. He could bump this worker. I guess that was a good one to pick. I thought he might bump Russ home. I think he's just hoping that Russ moves away. All right, what's the score now? Is it by one? Still got nine power.
just have to win a fight, guys. Shouldn't have spent that four. So where's this rust going to go? Guess he could run back here. If he moves this guy to this village and sends him here, I can use my factory card. So this looks like a regular move action. Oh, he doesn't move that guy. Oh, if Saxony doesn't shake things up, I can win and I can actually decide who gets second. Ooh. I just hit Russ Nordic gets second. What should I do, guys? Should I bump a Nordic work? Should I bump a couple Nordic workers? That's poor form, right? To king make like that, but it does maximize my points. And he did bump all my workers and try to take my peninsula. Kill Nordic. <laughs> None goes down for once. Do I know how to do a poll? Is that a poll? Invalid parameters. Possible parameters, new. Okay, let's try to do a poll. Nope, that's not going to work either. Saxony may have made it easy on us. He just bumped the one though, right? Hey, Derp. Does anyone want in chat want to stick up for none? Have mercy on his soul. Oh, pull. Hmm. I don't think I have time for pull. It's about my turn. I'll learn how to do that, though. <laughs> Sorry, none. That's right. All right. Do it, guys. Rusty and I both have two power and I have a five. Whatever move I would do if the game didn't end, it's a fair way to look at it.
Guys, there is this point. I got to keep playing games with none. So I'm going to chicken out, I think. And I can't move anymore, right? Because he's blocked my leg. All right, GG, guys. I'm a minimalist. Do the minimum it takes to win. And Tarts didn't lose any ELO there. 